these systems are very unique. And as things change climate-wise, they're gonna change and could change irreversibly. The dry valleys are very similar to Mars environment. I mean, it's incredible. All of the microbial life on the continent has kind of concentrated and sequestered from the valleys. So right now in front, we're coming in, you can see the Onyx River. Longest river in Antarctica. If you look to your left, you're gonna look right up the right valley. Those glaciers, whoa. Oh, I can see a camp up there. Oh, start the scene down here. Oh, for two weeks. Dry Valleys is the largest ice-free area on the continent, so likely it's got the most biology. My obsession is with understanding how organisms can survive in some of the most extreme environments on the planet. The coldest places on Earth, the driest places on Earth. This project has 12 scientists investigating the impact of people on the ecosystem, as well as the impact of potential climate change on the ecosystem. How's it going, buddy? Good to see you again. Yeah, good to see you, man. We go to the dry valleys because the surface cover is very simple and we can do observations that we can't do anywhere else in the world. What I've done now is set up the high-end infrared camera, and what you're trying to do is measure the surface temperature of different surfaces. The, the coldest being the lake, obviously, so the blue-violet colors. And this is one of the dynamics we're trying to capture in our analysis. Weather is a global phenomenon, and whatever happens in Antarctica will affect eventually weather in different areas in the world. Temperature zero Celsius. Every now and then the wind picks up. My main focus is the surface, a few meters above the ground. It's where people live, where we grow our crops, so this is why it is important. As the stewards of this planet, we shouldn't tolerate extinction. 